A Rancho Cordova man is behind bars, suspected of several area burglaries, but it's how he caught, caught them that's most interesting. Investigators say he confessed on social media, leading to even more charges. CBS 13's Mark Thompson is live at the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department. Mark, with more on this uh, bizarre case. Yeah, very bizarre. Good evening, Sharin. 29-year-old Cameron May, he's locked up inside the Sacramento County Jail, and it was a series of YouTube videos that he posted that led to the recovery of some stolen property and him facing even more charges. This is one of a dozen YouTube confession videos that investigators say links 29-year-old Cameron May to a series of crimes. This house was being fumigated, so what it was my dumb do? I see an opportunity, so I go in and hop the fence, cut open the tent, go inside the house, and find what I think is valuable. In this one, he talks about breaking into a house that was being fumigated. In other videos, he appears to use drugs as he fesses up to more crimes and even shows off some of the tools he used to commit them. The posted videos viewable everywhere, including in the state of Ohio, where a law enforcement agency saw it, heard the city of Rancho Cordova mentioned, and contacted authorities here. There's not just law enforcement that views that. There's members of the community that are tired of being victimized. And they will contact us as well, uh, just in case we miss it. Um, in this case, there was another law enforcement agency that contacted us that was investigating a narcotics case and uh, alerted us to the situation. It wasn't hard to track May down as he was already in custody from a separate case. Investigators recovered a trove of high-end items, including jewelry and two vehicles, and were able to return the property to the victims. And investigators are still asking for the public's help as some of those stolen items are still out there, including a classic car, a 68 Camaro. So sheriff's investigators are asking anyone who may have any information about these stolen items or this bizarre case to give them a call. Sharin, back to you. Yeah, posting on social media. Not sure if he regrets it, Mark.